Yeah, Adam, so you know, we're uh, fingers crossed we can get over the uh, swans of South Melbourne. That's right. And, uh, That's right. But these uh, know how, how to do it 12 times. So the Warnock's just come out today and said he's coming home, so come back to the fold. You know, his yeah, brother at uh, Melbourne. Significantly, he said he's coming back for family reasons and his brother plays at Melbourne, so that's good. He still can't, he can't get a kick at Freeman, he's going to get one at Melbourne, so no. wouldn't be, you know, putting too many hopes and dreams on Warnock coming in. Yeah, Save right. the club, Adam. No, him and either Jack Watts or Nat Newey will do the job. Oh, okay, and um, David Marsh has already uh, sent through uh, details for the Dream Team. So it was a real hit last year, real good success story. And uh, particularly with uh, Marshy's photos and lookalikes with his uh, weekly emails. Mm. So um, get involved in that, and that's been increased uh, to actually uh, have weekly prizes as well for those who score the highest each week. And it, I guess the good thing, it's not limited to our club, is it? No, not at all. Already, what was the... Uh... Last year we had about uh, at least half a dozen blokes who don't actually play the club, and some haven't even actually set foot in the club ever. And they uh, participate in the Dream Team. But again, I guess if you send an email, it's at info at bentleyana.com. Uh, you know, we'll be happy to, to forward on the uh, the details of the uh, other teams. And Absolutely. The Absolutely. The squads? The squads. Um, yeah, they, yeah, all that stuff will be uh, emailed through to you. And as I said, uh, David Marsh does a great job running that. Good on Marsh. One other thing with A&A is... Yes, uh, <laughs> as Simon White would say. And uh, one of the other things we're doing with uh, the juniors this year, uh, with uh, the club this year, is making sure that we've uh, got uh, great support from our juniors. I know Stuart Craven's done a lot of job, uh, a lot of work in the background. He's done a good job in actually uh, uh, being able to put us in a position where we're probably going to have two hundred twelve teams, yeah, very good. along with our under fourteens and under sixteens. It's always important to actually have uh, senior representation helping these kids through. So again, if you're interested in uh, helping, go to juniors at bentleyana.com. Now, I guess up to the uh, the meaty stuff, the gossip and innuendo. As always, with a, a pre-season in the CMCA, everyone wants to know what's going on, there, who's it? going where, <laughs> and you know, who's talking to who, what's going on. Um, well, it should all much be finalised, basically, this time of year, so... If you haven't got it sorted out, mm. you don't know where you're mm. going with cricket. So, it's a bit um, late, isn't it? I guess, you know, we've got some big names. We've got uh, Stacey Brown, who uh, was an integral part of West Bentley over the past few years and their success into making Longmere Shield finals. So he, he wants to, I guess the crux was Stacey, and he wants to play turf. So That's right. I know he was training with Casey, and uh, look, I think, you know, the last room was Brighton Central, his old stomping grounds. So uh, look, looks like turf is the go for Stacey, and, you know, good luck to him. Be good. That's right. Michael Flav played uh, one year at uh, East Sandy last year after playing all his life at uh, Hyatt West. And um, after one year at East Sandy, takes his premiership and goes back home. Oh, why wouldn't you? Yeah, so yeah. well done, well done Mickey. He's done something uh, a lot but, more than what the rest of us have. So Cheeks is coming back. From what we hear, yeah. Uh, who, who, Mark Jenkins coming back. Who would you rather? Well, that's the question. I mean, Cheeks has been a premier bowler in the competition, built a long term reputation mm. as uh, being that. However, I know personally, Mickey Flav knows how to bowl a good in swinger. So, um, well, yeah, I guess the only time I've seen him was last year, and I think, you know, he took five, five of the top six. So, you know, that's the first impression I got. But, geez, Cheeks, you know, he's a, he's a top line bowler, and, uh, geez, they're going to be dangerous. I, I, don't, I think they can only get better with, uh, with Cheeks coming on board even more, which yeah. is scary enough. So, I mean, everyone respects those standing they won. Six out of the last seven premierships. Well, they picked up what, Tony Brown's captain coach. Oh, I'm not sure about captain coach, but uh, Tony Brown from the old St Kilda Football Club is uh, putting his hand to cricket this year, and he's playing at East Sandy. That's right. Mm. Other names: Ivan Delac, who uh, famously left Amiga uh, two seasons ago to go to uh, Union last season, uh, as part of the job has. Um, decided to uh, take on board the role as captain. Now, whether that was a stitched up deal to him coming across last season, who knows? But I guess in regards to that, uh, last year's captain, Compathedos, who turned out to be the night sports player of the year, he uh, has been shafted for Ivan, and um, it's uh, been a lot of toing and froing, but Compathedos, the uh, the good man that he is and loyal servant to Brian mm. Union Cricket Club, he has decided to uh, take it on the chin and stay with the club. Well, if, I guess you put yourself in Brighton, Brighton Union, just, you know, the committee shoes. Jeez, it would have been a tough decision having Ivan. Was there a handshake deal under the table or anything like that to get him over the club two years ago or whenever he turned up? Was was it already set in stone and hard and fast that Ivan was going to be the uh, the captain in after a year? And, 
you know, Con's obviously uh, not there, so I'm not going to be captain. So at the end of the day, you know, you got the cricketer of the competition. Now, I think he did a pretty good job last year considering their bowling attack. Mm-hmm. Um, so to, to lose out by, you know, I think they dropped a few catches against Mackey and that's what cost them. So, geez, it's, uh, it's a big call. It's a very big call. So A lot of, a lot of personalities, particularly with Alex Gurdon as coach. So, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see uh, how uh, Brighton Union held up this season. He after. Will he get again? If you played a few games last year, made a few runs. If you like, it's, their batting line would be what? Gaynor, Vaughan, Delac, uh, Kuzma. Kuzma came back Justin late. King as well. Well, Petheos would probably be five. King. And then, you know, I rated that. Cyril Campbell, I thought, you know, he made 100 in the final in C grade. And surely he's got more often than Alex. Yeah, but, well, you know, for another former captain of Brighton Union. So, again, all these people uh, who have a profile in the club. They've got, yeah, they're going to be very strong no matter what, they're going to be very strong. So, you know, I don't know if that's going to be the point with Ivan that he's just going to be captaining a good team or if he's going to be a good captain, time will tell. But so who knows. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hampton Central have picked up some blokes back from uh, LePage Park in uh, um, Bruder and McMillan. So, uh, yep. <laughs> good luck. And uh, I guess the biggest controversy of the uh, off-season was uh, the departure of Brett Ernst from Bentley United. Um, two years ago, he was standing on the dais with a Premiership uh, shield, uh, long the shield. Dog, what's the man of the match? He was the man of the match after his 99 not out. Yeah. So, uh, fantastic servant to Bentley United. Um, they uh, still played the finals last year, so you wouldn't have thought that they went off the rails. No. But uh, there's been a fallout. Brett Ernst, um, I believe, was not asked to captain anymore. and. Um, He's taken his bat and ball and gone to well, uh, the club in... Uh, the side thing right? about all this too is Tony Drummond's, I believe, left as coach. So obviously there was a vacancy there. Mm-hmm. Brett Ernst wanted to captain coach from what I believe. Um, so I just think it would have been that there was a, a position there for him. But obviously the, uh, the powers of B thought that Brent wasn't up to coaching the club, I guess, and captaining the club anymore. So he's made it clear... It's circle, was not it? Yes, well, he's made it clear that uh, he's going on to, to become a better person and a better cricketer and a better coach. So I would like to win. Yeah, he hopes to come back to United as a, to, to be that complete package. Well... That's what's going on the same show, and I'm sure a lot of people who are from other clubs who their clubs been talked about, they'll want to uh, write in at info at Bentley A and A. We're and happy to, to you know discuss any issues that they've got to uh, put through, and any events or anything like that coming up from other clubs. I'm sure we're happy to uh, to let everyone know about. But um, you know, please any any comments or anything, let us know, and we'll uh, we'll discuss it. Including the name of this segment because we still don't have any idea. A and A Cricket Show, no. A and A Cricket Show, A and A Chew, A and A Chew. Don't know that. Yeah, I know that. that people might uh, confuse it with Red Chew. Who knows? But uh, <laughs> anyway, that's it for today, for this uh, segment, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next time.